So we're here at the uh, Pennsylvania Historic Marker for Conrad Richter here in Pine Grove, Pennsylvania. The novelist born in Pine Grove in 1890, lived in 1968, wrote about American frontier life. His books included The Town, The Waters of Kronos, Kronos uh, the recipient of the Pulitzer Prize and National Book Award. Richter lived and worked in this house from 1950 to 1968. So that's this house here, it's on Maple Street. And uh, we'll actually talk a little bit about Conrad Richter. I'll have a picture up and maybe some pictures from different things that he did uh, because uh, quite an important writer and is right here in Pine Grove, Pennsylvania. But I will have more here in this video. Thanks, everybody. Conrad Richter was born in Pine Grove, Pennsylvania. And uh, for a short while, he actually lived there, but eventually moved out to New Mexico with his wife. And that's where he wrote his first book, The Sea of Grass. It was heavily influenced by that area. And that actually was critically acclaimed. It actually got a nomination for National Book Award. Eventually in 1947, I think it was 1931 when that book was published. But in 1947, they made a movie or film of the same name that starred Spencer Tracy and Catherine Hepburn. Uh, he eventually had to move back to Pine Grove because he and his wife's health wasn't that great, so he felt it'd be better for them to be in Pine Grove. So he moved back to this house and continued to write. Uh, he wrote this Ohio trilogy uh, of three books, and which were beloved. And The Town, which was the third one, actually won the Pulitzer Prize. And it sort of followed through as you look at he had... Uh, it started out with the trees, where it was just forest land, then eventually became the fields, uh, as it's sort of the people came in and started to farm and, and uh, make the place a little more accessible, and then eventually the town was sort of the final book there. But that was about the Ohio frontier. Uh, he also wrote a book called The Waters of Kronos. That also, I think that won, actually won the National Book Award. Uh, he did a couple of books that were unique as... Uh, they actually were from the perspective of the Native Americans. Uh, a couple of them, I believe at least one, had been made into a film. So he had quite the prolific career, uh, wrote primarily on the pioneer lifestyle because that was something he was heavily influenced by with talking to the relatives of those that were first pioneers and having that oral history, it always intrigued him. So that was what he liked to write the most about and did very, very well at it. All right, thanks, everybody. Uh, so I wanted to talk a little bit more and actually clarify a couple things about Conrad Richter. I had said that he wrote the book The Sea of Grass in 1931. It's actually 1936. I had to look at the information. Sometimes it's hard to retain all that information. He actually, uh, he was born, I believe, 1890, and... When he was 19, he got a uh, a job with Patent Patent Pennsylvania Paper or something like that. And he did that for a couple years. He's actually also to note he was born in Tremont, Pennsylvania, which is just north of Pine Grove and Ravine. Uh, his parents, his dad was a Lutheran minister, and apparently, through the history of their family, when they for they were first settlers there in that region, they had been Lutheran ministers in that area. So there's a good chance some of them could have even possibly met John Casper Stover, depending on how far back they went. But it sounds like pretty early on in the frontier days with Pine Grove. Uh, but in two years later after that, he was 19 when he wrote for that paper, he actually moved to Cleveland, Ohio. And that's where he got a lot of his interest in the Ohio frontier because he got a lot of the stories uh, about that trilogy called The Awakening Land. Because sometimes it's published all three of the books together and then sometimes it's also published uh you know it'd be the the trees first the fields and then the town and the town is the one in 1951 that he won the pulitzer prize for which is the highest award you could possibly win uh he also wrote a story uh is a doctor hand hand row or something like that i'm probably getting it wrong but it was something he wrote for saturday evening post which was pretty popular as well uh he, uh, I think at some point then, I think it was maybe 1928, he wound up moving from Ohio out to New Mexico. But he only stayed out there for five years. 
and that's where he got the ideas for uh, the Sea of Grass, which he wrote in 1936. But he actually came back to Pine Grove in 1933 because of health issues for him, him and his wife. Uh, they had their only child when they were in Ohio. <coughs> but uh, from that point on, from 1933 on, he really was writing. He actually worked, uh, I think, for MGM uh, as a screenwriter for a short while as well in the 30s. So he he went across several different mediums in uh, in the writing. It was pretty pretty like I say, he's a pretty neat guy. Uh, he's definitely worth looking up. I actually want to try to grab some of those books and check them out because I do really find an interest in the pioneer pioneer lifestyle. And really, he's probably the most prolific writer when it comes to writing about you know fiction, but it's historical fiction, if you will about what they actually went through and, and what it was like doing that. But I guess he spent a lot of his time going between uh, Pine Grove, Albuquerque, and there was one other place that they sort of traveled a lot, him and his wife. And then uh, in 1968, he was over in Pottsville, and he had a heart attack and passed away. He is buried, uh, I talked about Richard Wheeler. Richard Wheeler's uh, buried in the St. Peter's Lutheran Cemetery, uh, there's two cemeteries there on the hill. St. Peter's is on the left, which would be the southern part of the cemetery. And on the right, which is the northern part of the cemetery, is St. John's Lutheran uh, Church Cemetery. So he's buried there. It's quite a large cemetery, but both of them are there. Find a Grave uh, app really helps you to find these things. And a lot of this information I got from the Find a Grave app and from Wikipedia Uh Really interesting guy. Uh, I believe his wife passed away four years later. I would assume she's probably buried in St. John's Lutheran Cemetery there as well. Uh, I really don't know. Uh, but cool cool individual. A lot of intriguing thing. And it is awesome to know that somebody that prolific of a writer, a Pulitzer Prize winner, nonetheless, National Book Award uh winner as well and he also I guess he got quite a few uh, honorary doctorates and things of that nature uh, from a number of different universities all over the country because of what he has all done so uh, he's left quite the legacy uh, much like Mr. Wheeler uh, these were two phenomenal authors he is the much better known author Conrad Richter is just because of being a Pulitzer Prize winner and, and all that but uh both of them left quite their mark on history. And uh, I encourage you to check out Conrad Richter and his books, especially The Awakening Land. They said The Water of Kronos is very good as well, as well as The Sea of Grass. And there are a number of other ones in there. Like He wrote quite a few books that were really uh, well-received. Uh, so something I got to check out, you check out as well. And uh, we will see you guys all about town. Thanks, everybody.